Welcome back to Wildlife Wednesday. Today is our third and final installment of our series on tracks. We've talked about trails, stride and straddle, track measurements, and today we're gonna to talk about individual tracks. So let's start with bears. So here we have black bear tracks and grizzly tracks. So how can we tell the difference? Well, one way is by looking at the claws. Black bears have shorter, very sharp claws that are excellent for climbing. So if they do have claw marks present in their tracks, they're gonna be pretty close to those toe pads. Grizzlies, on the other hand, have huge claws compared to the black bear. These are excellent for digging. So their claw marks are more often present in their tracks and they're gonna be much further away from those toe pads. Another trick to tell a grizzly track from a black bear track is to use a straight edge and look at the toe pad placement. So here we have the front foot of a grizzly. If we put this straight edge on the lower part of the biggest toe and the highest point of the palm pad, and we make a straight line out of that, we can still see all five toes. One, two, three, four, five. Now, if we do that same thing with the black bear's front foot, so we put the straight edge on the bottom of that biggest toe and the top of that upper palm pad, make a line, all of a sudden, one, two, three, four. One of those toes has almost completely disappeared. So if you use this trick out in the field and one toe disappears, probably a black bear track. If you do it and you see all five toes, you've probably found a grizzly track. Let's compare two other commonly confused tracks. Here we have a wolf track and a mountain lion track. Now, if you have a cat at home, you know that cats have retractable claws. So do our wild cats like mountain lions. So one way to distinguish these two tracks is the presence or absence of claw marks. But of course, sometimes cats do show claws Sometimes dogs don't. So let's look at the placement of the paw pads as well. A mountain lion's palm pad has two lobes on the leading edge and three lobes on the hind edge. Now a wolf's palm pad has one lobe on the front and two on the back. You'll also see that a wolf's track is a lot more symmetrical. Those two front toes are pretty much right in line and it's pretty easy to draw an X right through a wolf track. Mountain lion, on the other hand, those two toes are a little wonky and it's pretty darn hard to draw an X through their track because their track is so curved. And of course, there's many, many other tracks to observe out there in the wild. Now, it can all seem really overwhelming, but the more you practice and observe, the better you'll get. So grab your field guide, a ruler, a camera, and of course, your bear spray. Go out there and find some tracks. 